Hi there, and welcome back to the Der Grenadier YouTube channel. Today we are going to look at what makes a tunic a good tunic. We are not going to go too deep into the details, uh, we can do that in separate videos. Um, but in general, what do you need to look out for when you first get a tunic for your first impression? Um, I just want to say that you always need to do your own research. Don't take my word for granted. Uh, look at original photographs, uh, look at photographs of original tunics, ask a unit, do your own research, be your own boss and don't just take anybody's word for granted because that's going to get you burnt in this hobby. I thank you for watching and we are going to dive right into it. So the first thing you need to look out for when you get a new tunic is a general cut of the tunic. How wide are the sleeves? How long are the sleeves? How large are the pockets? How wide are the pockets? How deep are the pockets? Where are they positioned? Are they really high up, really down low? How wide is the color? Is the color pointy or not? Compare this, whatever tunic you want to get or whatever you have already, compare this to original tunics and see if, that's, if the details are more or less the same. Of course, every tunic is different. Also on originals, every original tunic has different aspects that you can look out for when you buy a reproduction. So chances are that a lot of the details that you see on your reproduction, you also see on at least one or two originals. Uh, but the thing is, just because you see it on two originals does not mean that it is something that is acceptable. Um, you want details that you see on a lot of different originals uh, as much as possible because the, the general the better. Um, so look out for details like that. Um, those are the easiest to compare because these are not different in size most of the time. So uh, it's quite easy to compare this to your own tunic and to originals which makes this one of the easier things to do. The next thing is something that you can do yourself on your new tunics which is the insignia and the buttons on your tunic. This is a very big deal. If you have a reasonably good tunic and the insignia is applied really really well then chances are that most people are going to think that this is an acceptable tunic to use. If, you're, if you have a really good tunic and let's say an Elsnow tunic but the insignia is applied in a really bad way people are still going to laugh at you. So what do you need to look out for? Well with the Litsen the position is really important and the way that they are folded and applied. You have different uh, ways of applying the insignia. Uh, you can stitch them by hand, you can uh, straight stitch machine with the sewing machine, you can straight stitch them, you can zigzag stitch them or you can do a combination of multiple of those. The, the thing is that you need to uh, look at uh, what was most common on the variant of tunic that you have. Uh, I'm going to put a link down below to the Der Erste Zoek website on um, applying the insignia so you can take a look for yourself on all this information and fact check. Um, so the way that they are folded and applied is really important. Uh, I'm not that good at it. Uh, I use a sewing machine with a straight stitch. You can see that the edges are a little bit weird curved. Um, but for now I'm going to keep these on. Um, the eagle, very important as well. Uh, I used a straight stitch as well on the eagle. Um, of course the quality of your insignia is also very important. So who made the insignia? How well made are they? How well do they compare to originals? These are all things that you can check for yourself on the internet. Uh, and if you don't know, you can always ask one of the YouTubers or you can ask in the uh, Green Actor Help page on Facebook. But position is really important, quality is important and the way that they are folded and applied is really important as well. Uh, the shoulder boards, really easy to change out. Um, these are Elsinore shoulder boards. I would suggest to get Elsinore shoulder boards or other high quality reproductions because these can make your tunic look a lot better. Uh, and of course the buttons, these are also 
very important because they may they change the look of the, of your tunic uh, in quite a big way uh, and they are also really easy to change out chances are that when you get a new tunic you need to reinforce the buttons anyway so if you just don't reinforce them order better ones apply those immediately it's no big effort at all and it makes the tunic look a lot better also the color of your buttons is very important for the variant that you use the next big thing is the way that your tunic fits you personally the way that your tunic fits your body type for example uh, the shoulders the sleeves um, of course these are military garments and in all of history all militaries always gave their uniforms in two sizes too large and too small and well you could say the same for the germans for a lot of the time not always um, but your tunic needs to fit you and your body type to make it look good um, important things are the shoulders my shoulders fit this tunic perfectly uh, which makes proportions look proper and well nice um, your collar needs to fit around your neck well not too loose but not too tight it really is a matter of um, this hook you can well move this in or outwards uh, to make it look fit better um, of course your chest needs to fit your sleeves need to be the correct length um, and well, if the germans uh, your shirt sleeve needs to be shorter than your tunic sleeve well generally speaking um, well a lot of people say that your uh, sleeve needs to be longer than the skirt of uh, the tunic itself uh, I am not one to suggest that this is always true um, if you are selecting if you are choosing to use a tunic the most important thing uh, I would say is that your skirt when you sit down does not hit uh, the ground or the well the chair that you are sitting on um, because this this was generally speaking the case uh, because when you sit down for example in the mud you don't want the back of your tunic to get dirty um, I think this is the most important thing uh, it's not that big of a deal if your skirt is a little bit longer than your sleeves uh, I would say uh, this is my opinion of course um, it's not that big of a deal if your uh, waist is a little bit bigger uh, the tunic is a little bit bigger than your actual waist because um, let me show you what usually happens when it is larger is that you get these folds in the back here um, this is not that big of a deal uh, because I read a manual and I will try to find it I can't remember which one it was but I am going to link it down below um, that says that you need to distribute the folds of your felt blouse uh, around your belt all around you so that it doesn't irritate you any longer um, so it was a common thing that there are folds in uh, your tunic because it is a little bit larger uh, of course this is mostly because of the fact that you need to be able to wear a thick sweater underneath of your tunic uh, I would say that you need to you need to be able able to use a large sweater uh, and maybe uh, even multiple thick layers of clothing underneath or underneath of your felt blouse. Uh, so it doesn't matter that much if it is a little bit larger than you think is acceptable uh, as long as it isn't really that bulky. Um, I've heard some people say that when you take off your belt, your tunic needs to stay in the exact same position. But as you can see, I have a little bit of room left. Left. Um, it's not as much as you see on camera, but I have a little bit of room left, um, which is a good thing in my opinion. Um, so determine for yourself what you would like, as long as you don't have a lot of extra room in here. Um, and one little tip, tip that I can give you is uh, wear your bayonet on the uh, front side of this belt hook because if you have it on the other side and you go marching your belt will slide inwards uh, and you will look like a well idiot 
because that is not where it is supposed to be. So wear it on the front side of this belt hook. Another thing that I would uh, really pay attention to is the amount of aging that you do to your tunic. Uh, never wear a tunic straight out of the box uh, because it will have faults from being stored. Uh, it will look brand new, it will have a lot of fuzzy bits. Uh, it won't look good. Uh, very blunt to say, but uh, it won't look good. Um, so well, I think the aging that you do to your tunic uh, must re represent the story of the item uh, and your persona that you have and use in the field. Uh, so for example, if you are a new recruit that's only been in the military for let's say six months, um, your tunic won't be that worn. It won't look like a M40 that has been worn for four years in the field. Uh, and for the same thing goes uh, if you wear an M40, a reissue, reissued jacket uh, in 1944 and it has been worn for four years uh, on the eastern front, uh, it will look like it has been to hell and back. So uh, pay attention to that and don't uh, overdo it and sometimes overdo it if that fits the story of your tunic. The last thing that I wanted to give you as a tip, uh, the more work you put in your tunic, the more effort you put in it, the more research you put in it, the better it will look. So don't be afraid to invest time and effort because you already invest a lot of money in this hobby uh, and if you put in the effort as well, you will look much much better than you would if you didn't do that. So that will be the last tip of today. Um, I thank you for watching. I hope that um, you really had some uh, profit from this video. Uh, I know it is a long video. I know it is a lot of details that I go into. Uh, well, not a lot of details, but a lot of stuff at the same time. Um, so I really hope it wasn't too boring for you. Uh, Links all down below in the description uh, if you need tips on uh, applying the insignia and the wear of your uniform. Um, and that will be all for today. So, I thank you for watching and I wish you all a very nice weekend.